What are you still doing there? You're gonna miss your flight. I have plenty of time. I'm just about out the door. Do you have your passport and everything? Damn! Stop worrying. I've done plenty of personal appearances. Just relax. I'll relax when I know you're in Tampa and on that cruise ship. I'll call you when I get into Tampa. Oh, and thanks for the booking. I really appreciate all the work you're getting for me. I'm glad to do it for you. All right, have a good time. Steve, let me ask you a question. Sure, what is it? I know you've been touring a lot and performing all over the country. Have you done this cruise gig before? No, it's the first time for me on the Pillage and Plunder cruise. Oh, I see. Was that your question? No, I was just wondering if the passengers are going to be joining in on our group scene. Well, one can always hope, can't they? Yeah, the more cocks the better in my book. Yeah, that's what Josh tells me about you. I want to be known as the biggest porn star pig in history. Well, I heard about the line of guys waiting outside your dressing room door at your gig at man's country. That was hot. I couldn't get enough dick. I plan on repeating that on the cruise ship. Well, it's all about quantity, not quality with you, isn't it? As long as it's big and hard, I don't give a shit who it's attached to. Get some sleep. You're gonna need to be in tip-top shape to drain all those passengers. I guess you're right. Quantity. Hmm. Just some faceless cocks on the beach of Key West. Yeah, I could probably get into that too. some dick. That's funny, I feel like I just got through eating some dick. Research. What's that? You going somewhere? Yeah. I'm going on that ship. I paid a dock worker to stow me away on board. Bullshit. You're fucking with us. I'm not. I'm sick and tired of this fucking job. I'm going on to get a new career. On that ship? That's the plan. Doing what? Swabbing the deck? <laughs> Fuck no. There's a video company shooting porno there. I'm gonna audition for them. 
Well, you've got the cock for it, that's for sure. Damn right. I better go. Take it easy, man. Fry me. Good luck. Make sure they pay your cash, man. I was booked to do a live show, and I was under the impression it was supposed to be at a bar. Well, I'm sorry if there was any confusion. As you can see, this isn't a bar, but it is my resort. <laughs> well, this was the address I was supposed to come to. Well, I did in fact book you, but uh, for a private performance for me. Oh, well, <laughs> I can get into that. Hey, I've been looking for my buddy, Ray Harley, from the trip. Have you seen him? I haven't seen him. You from the cruise? Yeah. Well, let's go downstairs. I'm going to show you something. Oh, great. Yeah. I don't see him anywhere. You guys are real horny, aren't you? Now, you bet. I haven't got my rocks off since this trip started. Well, you know what? There's uh, that's a small private patio downstairs. Maybe we can go and I can help you relieve your stress. Can you? Yeah, I'm sure I can. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. Should I start a tab for your drinks? Yes, that will be great. Can I ask you something? 
Yeah, sure. What can I help you with? Well, this place looked like a ghost town. Isn't this high season? It is, but everyone's over at the dock. What's going on there? Well, the pillage and plunder crews pulled into port. What's that? Only the biggest gay cruise event to ever hit Florida. Really? Yeah, they closed out the whole area around it for a big party. I hate crowds. Yeah, me too. That's why I volunteered to work here today. I guess I won't be finding any trade around here today. <laughs> I don't know about that. I may dislike crowds, but um, well, my cock is always looking for a new mouth. Oh, yeah? Well, my mouth's always looking for a new cock to suck. seen that on the checklist. Hold on a minute. Hey, Ray, it's Caesar. I've got an Aero Airlines pilot over here who has a question about one of the planes you worked on this morning. Uh, yeah, we'll be right out. It's not really a priority, but it is a gay charter, and one never knows when one might get a hot piece in the cockpit. So, the lock doors are preventing you from being caught in the act by one of those flight attendants. Mm -hmm. It does break FAA regulations. What, the broken lock? The pilot would need for a guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you didn't tell me it was Steve that was out here. Of course, I shouldn't knew you guys knew each other. We're old pals. What's up, Steve? The lock on the cockpit door was broken. Did you guys get the message to fix it? No, I don't remember seeing that on the list. The captain doesn't want to get caught with his pants down at 30,000 feet. Maybe you should get yourself off so you're not tempted to your passengers mid-flight. That's a good idea. I'll have to try it sometime. Why not right now? What do you mean? Well, we're mechanics. If something needs servicing, we're the best guys for the job. I know I'm just a trainee, but Jason's been showing me the ropes. I'd like to see that sometime. Too bad you got a flight to catch. Yeah, it's too bad. I'll take a rain check on that. Maybe next time. Let's go all right. You okay? Yeah. Let's have a little fun. This is the gay charter to ask them. These are all gay sex toys, man. What the fuck is this? I don't know, but uh, I bet you we could figure it out. I know. Pull your dick out and stick it in here. Well, if I was going to use that thing, I'd have to have a heart on it. I'd need a little help to get a heart on it. Tell you what. I'll suck your cock and get you hard, and then you stick it in here. No shit. Sure, why not? Okay. Come on. No, no, don't come by. Uh, I'll set the recorder and show you later. Okay? I'll call you when my shift's over. Breathing down my back. This is a private show, just for me. Okay, bye. Where the hell have you been? I went to Beer Bus last night and I got lucky. 
The day's almost over. Well, I'm really sorry, Bill. Well, I'm really happy for you. But you know, I didn't get lucky last night and had to come into work just like everyone else. Hey, I said I was sorry. What else do you want me to do? Well, since I didn't get lucky last night, I think it's only fair that you make up for missed hours by doing me now. How's that? Well, get over here and suck my cock for starters, and I'll think of something else after that. Well, it's not in my job description. Well, it's either that, or you can have your walking papers right now. Well, in that case, what choice do I have? Exactly. Excuse me, sir. I need to check you out. But I'm gonna miss my flight. Lift your arms up, please. There's something in there. There's nothing in my pockets. You need to empty them out. Now, this is outrageous. I'm gonna miss my flight. Come on, let's go over here. What about my bag? We'll get it later. Come on. Tell you, it's embarrassing. Well, you better tell me. I'll rip those pants off of you. Fine. I'm wearing a cock ring. What the hell is that? It makes my cock hard. I get a better sensation when I get a blowjob. Where did you get it from? Your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, right. Whatever. Can I go now? Not so fast. I want to see how this thing works. Well, unless you're going to get down and suck my cock, you're shit out of luck. Pull your pants down. Let me see that. You see? My hands are making you dig hard. Yeah, but it works better with a mouth. Shit, my flight left the gate two minutes ago. You can never be too careful with security measures. Well, I guess we have to get to the bottom of things. Oh, your bottom is well worth it, man. And so is yours. <laughs> Come on, let's get you booked on another flight. All right. Good afternoon, and welcome aboard Charter Flight 69 Nonstop to Aspen. My name is Michael, and I'll be your flight attendant on this flight. Joining me today to serve you will be Ms. Jack. At this time, please take out your safety cards in front of you and follow along as we familiarize you with some of the safety features of the 727. Please fasten your seat belts by inserting one end of the other and tighten by pulling on the strap. To release, lift up the lever. There are six emergency exits on this plane. Two in the front two in the back, and two in the center of the plane. In an unlikely event of a loss of cabin pressure, an oxygen mask will drop from the ceiling. Pull down the mask and put the mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. During takeoff, please turn off all electronic devices such as cell phones and laptops. Now sit back and relax and enjoy the flight. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to press the button above your seat and one of us will assist you. Captain, Mr. Cooper, 
would like to see you. Thank you, Michael. Come on in. Rob, I'd like to meet my co-pilot, George. Hey, Rob, nice to meet you. So you're responsible for the hot cock on this plane. Rob and I go back a few years. He organizes gay trips, and I always pilot his charter flights. Yeah, these charter flights to Aspen always seem to get kind of wild. I don't know if it's the altitude or what. What you reading? Cat got your tongue? God damn it, look what you've done. You have ruined my book. Hey, lighten up. You don't need that book. I got something right here to keep you busy. I wouldn't suck your dick if we lost cabin pressure and the only air was in your balls. Oh, you're kind of feisty. I like that. Excuse me? Excuse me? Yes, can I help you with something? For the love of God, move me to another seat. Do I look like an usher to you? I cannot sit next to this drunken asshole one more second. What seems to be the problem? Isn't it obvious he's shit-faced drunk and he's hitting on me? Well, he must be drunk. What? Look, I don't have time for this right now. I have to finish serving drinks. Oh, great. More alcohol. That's exactly what this flight needs. Look, don't fuck with me. I don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Here, why don't you take these complimentary peanuts and use your mouth for chewing instead of bitching for a while. I've got work to do. Well, I guess we're stuck together. What do you say? How about a kiss? <sighs> Hold that thought. <laughs> Been on many of these trips before? Yeah, how about you? No, this is my first. So I guess you'll be joining the club. What club? You mean you've never heard of the Mile High Club? Mile High Club? What is it? Well, to become a member, you have to have sex with someone on the plane. What? How? Where? Well, most people do it in the toilet. Isn't that kind of risky? Yeah, that's what makes it so much fun. Well, I'd love to join the club. Really? Come on. Man, I can't wait to hit the slopes. Yeah, I can't wait to curl up naked with you in front of the fire. Mmm, that sounds nice. It's gonna be the perfect honeymoon getaway. Order me a drink if the flight attendant comes, okay? Thanks. Give me the usual. All right. You like some coffee, sir? Oh, thank you very much. Restroom, but they're two queens and they're going at it. Really? Yeah, and they aren't the only ones. There's a guy in the back row back there beating off like he's in his fucking living room or something watching a video. Okay, settle down. Here, I got you a drink. Thanks, baby. I'm sorry I got so upset. I just can't believe they're doing that in the plane. Michael, you busy? I could really use a BJ. Why don't you come in here? Why don't you go stretch your legs for a little while? I'm gonna get off with Michael. No problem. I could use a break anyway. Excuse me. 
I ran for the flight attendant and no one came. Uh, would you please give me a blanket? Uh, seat taken? As a matter of fact, it is. Good. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Yes, can I help you? I believe you need to check your cages in the kennel area because this rabid motherfucking dog has obviously escaped. Sir, is this your assigned seat? No, but I won't bother anyone. Give me a break. You're already working my last fucking nerve. I know for a fact that does not as a sign to see. Look, this isn't musical chairs. You sit where your ticket says you sit. Now get your ass up and move. Airspace Fuck that, Michael has a sweet mouth. You should have a go at it with him sometime. I'd love to sometime. There's a real hot Latin guy out there I'd like to get my mouth on. Hot, huh? Would you mind to return the favor and let me and him use the cockpit for a while? Sure, why not? That's why we call it the cockpit. Great. He's right outside the door. I'll let him in. Sure, I'll just put the plane on autopilot until you're through. seats the entire time. Hey, Captain. So who's flying the plane? <laughs> Don't worry. The co-pilot's up there. So, got some time to kill? Maybe. You know, I always look forward to doing these trips so I can get it on with my favorite captain. So what are we waiting at? Where's the bathroom? Oh my God. It's that door right up there. Someone's in charge here. So you get your stuff together and you get out there and help them. Now move! And get some clothes. 
Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. I think I broke my arm. What happened? I don't know. I heard that no one was flying the plane. What? Can you walk? Yeah, I think so. Come on, let's go see how the others are doing and get something for that arm. I saw some sleeping bags over by the wreckage. Why doesn't somebody grab them in case we need them? All right, well, let's just try to get some rest tonight, Ben. Let's go check out and see if we find those sleeping bags. Sounds good. Here, stay away. We're getting ready to head out. I think there'll be more help here with the passengers. All right, but you better find some help soon. I don't know how long these guys can hold out. Don't worry, I'm going to get these people out of here as soon as possible. Well, just keep your mind on getting us out of here and keep your fucking pants on for a change. All right, just get back to the passengers make sure they're all right. All right. Hey, it looks like a ridge up there. I'll go up there and see if I can spot a cabin or something. Um, what's your name? Chad. Why don't you come with me? The rest of you guys can stay and rest. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Listen, I hear some water. Come on, let's, let's go. go. Um, 
I wasn't so busy having sex in the galley, none of this would have happened. We're going to get out of this. I'm uh, going to get out of man. this. Man. Did you hear that? You did. He said he got some sex. No, you darn fool. He said it was a plane crash. Oh, yeah. What do you think we should do? I don't know. We should tell Mama. She'll know what to do. You go on ahead. I'll catch up. I'm going to watch. came upon a waterfall just up past the hill. Oh, that's just great. You leave us sitting here while you're off swimming and no telling what else. Look, we need to get moving. It's going to be dark soon. I think the best thing for us to do is to split up. We'll be able to cover more ground that way. Well, that's fine. But this time, you're going with us. You're not going to sneak off and leave us again. All right, all right. I'll take the three of you with me. Chad, why don't you go with this guy? Bye, troll. Heifer. any trouble. We're just trying to get some help. We were in a plane crash. People are hurt that need to get to a hospital. Shut your mouth. We know all about your plane crash. Yeah, what do you think we are, Igni? Maybe you could take us to your trailer and we could use your phone and, and be on our way. We ain't got no trailer. We live in a shack. Hey, man, I didn't mean anything by that. Yeah, what do you think we should do with him, Ed Earl? We better take him to Mama and let her decide. You ain't fucking taking me anyway. Yeah. Dark soon. Maybe we should camp here and start again at daybreak. Yeah, sounds good. Um.
Fuck, I'm beat. Let's try to get some rest. We'll resume the search party in the morning. They're out there. We're gonna find them. Hey, I'm gonna go uh, grab bottled water out of the ice chest. Y'all want one? No, not right now. I need to take a piss. Yeah, I think I'll join you. something about mama. Oh my god, where'd they take him? Which direction did they go? Oh, I don't know. Ah. Is, is he dead? No, but he's gonna need some medical attention. It's gonna be dawn soon. Take him to the plane then and help him with his wounds. I'll go find Chad. Let's wrap him up. Ah. We use a bag. Ah. Keep him warm. Breaker 1-9, this is... Dogtown Daddy, I'm calling for Skanky Mama. Skanky Mama, you around? This is Mama. Come in, Mama. Skanky Mama, you around? Damn it. This is Mama. Can you read me now? Hey, did you hear about that plane crash? I think it's up here somewhere. Over. Hell yeah, we heard about it. I heard about it over the CB. Just so happens we got us one of them there passengers from the plane. Over. The hell you say? What are you fixing to do with them up there? Over. Yeah, boy, got them tied up out back by a chicken coop. They wanted to keep them, and I said, okay, but you can't be bringing them in the house. You got to keep them outside. I don't want that city trash messing up my beautiful home. Over. Hey, I want to come over and take a gander at him. Over. Now you stay away from here. Boys found him at stair play thing. Over. Oh, all right. But I got to have them when they're done with them. Over. We'll see. Now, I, I got to get off here. I got to go check on them boys. Over and out. Hey, boys, I just talked to your cousin, your brother, on the CB radio, and he wants to get a hold of that there playmate of yours. So you best put him out of sight when you're done playing with him. Okay, Mama. And keep him quiet. I don't want him hollering his darn head off. How you want us to keep him quiet, Mama? I don't care. Just do it or you're going to get the switch. Okay, Mama. How are we going to keep him quiet? You bring him over here, boy, and I'll show you. Come on. Quite an appetite. I'm powerful hunger. I think Mama's got some of that leftover possum in the icebox. Really? I love me some possum. Let's go get it. Yeah. Get going. Hell! Get me possum. Here we go. Get me possum. Fuck, I'm freezing. Me too. Let's drink some of that liquor you found. It'll warm us up. There isn't any more. We'll need to get our body heat up somehow, else we're going to freeze to death. Well, I can only think of one way to do that. Why don't you get over here and suck my dick? Right here? What happens if somebody's going to see us? Great, let them see us. Maybe they'll join in. More bodies and more heat. Well, uh, I guess you have a point. Yeah. Chad! I want you boys to go out there and find that plane 
And this time you're gonna bring me back some cash and jewelry. Oh, Mama. Don't you be back talking me. Now get. And don't you be dragging them all those dang playthings home. All right. All right. your 20 over I i'm not at the plane i'm at some shack in the hills over are you all right you think you can make it back to the plane over uh yeah i think so over good go back to the plane and tell the others that help is on the way over okay over all right guys come on they're up in them hills let's roll get your stuff come on, good. What about the others? The flight attendant will take care of them. Don't worry about them. They'll be back for them later. Come on, we gotta get you to the hospital now. Out of here, and you did. You saved our lives. That's just part of my job. 